Hey y'all, Michelle here with My Designs in the Chaos, where it's our goal to develop, encourage, and grow your crafting talent and confidence. Today, we're gonna be designing a really simple coffee cup inside the software Inkscape. Here inside of Inkscape, this is a little preview for you of what we're going to be designing today. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this coffee cup and I'm going to move it over here to this side. Now the way that we're going to build this coffee cup today is by using shapes. So we're going to start off here with a rectangle. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to click on that square. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag and I'm going to draw the base of my coffee cup. Now I can see that the base of my coffee cup right now is colored a base color I'm gonna go right down here to the bottom and I'm gonna click on black from here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go up here to path and I'm gonna say object to path and this way I can actually edit my rectangle by using nodes which are little points so I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit path by nodes and you can see these little gray dots pop up and those are little nodes that you can use to manipulate whatever your shape looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna highlight these two I can tell they're highlighted because they're blue and I'm just going to to click and I'm going to drag them in a little bit and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side I'm going to highlight those two and I'm just going to drag them in a little bit again I'm just creating that nice cup shape for my coffee cup then I'm going to go ahead and over here on my left hand side I'm going to click on rectangle again and I'm going to draw two more rectangles across the top I'm going to draw one that's about the same size as my bottom cup and then one that's a little bit bigger than that one now, from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on my arrow tool, Select and Transform Objects. And I think this one's a little wide, so I'm going to click on that little black arrow there and just drag it in just ever so slightly. And then I'm going to make sure there's a little gap there. Since this is black, I want to be able to see it. And then I'm going to bring that other one, the top rectangle, I'm going to bring that one in just a little bit as well. And then we're just going to kind of place those right on top of each other to make sure it looks like a cup. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that all three of these elements are lined up. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click and drag and make sure all three items are selected. And then I'm going to go to my Align and Distribute menu, which is here under Object, Align and Distribute. This little menu will pop up over here on the side. And I'm going to click here on Center on Vertical Axis. So that way I know everything here in the middle is now centered. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw one more rectangle right here on the top for the lid. Just a little bitty one. And I'm going to change the color of this one to be a light color. So I'm just going to change it to be white so that I can see it on the black. And so I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to select everything and again make sure it's all centered and in line. Now instead of having that element be a separate layer, I'm going to actually knock it out of that top lid. So I'm going to select that little rectangle, hold down the shift key and I'm going to select that top part of the lid as well. I'm going to go to path and I'm going to go to difference. And now this is all one object rather than being two separate rectangles. The next thing I need to do is I need to build the little carrier that's going to go on top of my coffee cup. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to select my base of my mug and I'm actually just going to copy and paste it. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller and I'm also going to change the color of it so that I can actually see it. And so I'm going to change it to a light gray color just again so that we can kind of match what we're initially building. I'm going to make it a little bit wider here and then you can at this point, decide how big you want it, the shape you want it, but I am going to go ahead and click on this Edit Path by Nodes option. So again, I get those little gray dots that pop up and it makes it really easy for me to be able to adjust the coffee cup sleeve to be able to fit on the outside. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna select both of them and pull them out just a tad. And then I'm actually gonna make the entire coffee cup just a little, bit shorter the coffee cup sleeve just a little shorter I'm going to edit these nodes one more time just to kind of move them out just ever so slightly so it looks like it's kind of going around the outside there and then I'm going to go ahead and add my circle in the middle which I'm going to click over here on the left hand side it says create circles and ellipses 
And then I'm going to hold down the control key as I draw my circle. So that way it stays completely even. I'm also going to go ahead and change the color of that circle just so that it really stands out there on that sleeve. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that it fits right in there. Make it just a tad bit smaller. And this is all personal preference. And then what would be really cute is if you put an initial or a phrase or something like that on the inside. One last thing that I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line everything up. So I just want to make sure everything is centered here. And now it is. And there we've got a really cute coffee cup. You can actually even move this in just a little bit. I'm going to scoot this over. And so through just using a few simple shapes, here we have a really cute and simple coffee cup. Don't forget, if you're just getting started, feel free to pause, rewind, and replay this video at a pace that works for you. Make sure if you have a question, feel free to leave a comment below and come connect with us over inside our free Facebook community. Until next time, I encourage you, stop just collecting and start actually creating. And remember, there's no wrong way to craft. I'll see you guys back next time. Bye!